Wednesday, the 14th of May. Okay, there is an, a B1 part and a B2 part. There's two parts. And each part is actually graded past great distinction for both. So they're not combined, they're actually separated. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Um, it's actually the key thing really is about um, administrative software to benefit the forestry business. So it's about um, the range of ICT packages that are available to the forestry business. So what does that mean, ICT packages? Um, that Microsoft, word, Microsoft and stuff like that. Yeah, computer programs, Microsoft, anything that's sort of electronic done on the computer. Do you all have, what, you know, if I was going to say your level of um, computer skills. Yeah. Would you call yourself a beginner, intermediate or advanced? Anyone advanced with computers? In between intermediate. Intermediate? Anyone say they're intermediate? Possibly. Anyone think they're beginners with computers? No beginners? In between possibly. So the way forward really in a lot of flourish businesses, where any business is actually using a lot of ICT packages. Okay, so this is what this is about. So the first bit, um, it says investigate a range of ICT functions and software packages a flourishing business might use. Using the information collected, create a clear table showing you the uses, advantages and disadvantages for each ICT function. Then it's giving you some examples. So what you just need to really do is create a table. Okay. So you would put what the ICT software is, okay, or function, the uses, advantages, and disadvantages. Always going back to this, okay, flourish your business. So it's given some examples here. So word processing, okay, so you can put that one in there. What would be the uses for word processing? What, when would we in a flower business use word processing? Write a letter. Letter, what type of letters? Quotations. Quotations. Yeah, so be quite specific. Yeah, think of some of it. What would be the advantages of word processing or using word processing? Quicker. 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 It's neater. Neater. Yeah. You can, you can create some sort of format so every every quote looks the same. Yeah, so you can put a template on there and yeah. template. If it's any, you know, think of the old, the old typewriter. Yeah. yeah. What happened if you made mistakes with the yeah, typewriter? Start again. Go all the way back to the piece of paper and start again. Yeah. Or Tipex. Yeah. What was using Tipex? So the advantage is obviously you can save it. You can make adjustments. You can change it. You can resave it. What about disadvantages? Do you think the disadvantages of word processing? Yeah, and also the, certain systems are not always, you know, we use Microsoft Office, but not all programs have that Microsoft Office. They're quite expensive to buy the package as well, isn't it? So, you know, you've got an outlay, what is it, £80 for a Microsoft Office package? Yeah, if you're a business, it's probably a lot more. That's just like the home or the student edition. So it can be quite costly. Worth the investment, but it can be costly for the package. Yeah, so you've got to basically um, detail what you think. Let's just give you an idea. Okay. Um, there's some others it says here. We're not going to go into all of them. But it says in database, databases. Does everyone know what a database is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone, what's the uses of a database? It helps to store all that information about maybe like custom information or... Does anyone actually use databases in their businesses or come across that experience at all? Is anyone good at Microsoft Access? I can use it 
at a basic level. I'm glad you said that. That's brilliant. We'll need you in a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very. It's one of those Microsoft packages that we have. I mean, mostly I would just shoot can use Word. Yeah. Can you use Excel spreadsheets? PowerPoint. Yeah. Publisher. Maybe. Maybe. And access. Has anyone actually looked and seen access on there? Yeah. It's something that's there, but not many people use it. Me personally, myself, I don't use it enough. But it's, when you know how to, it's so benefit to us. Can anyone give an example of when you would create a database? Now, obviously, Carly's about storing customer information, but what about scenarios where you may need to do that, storing information? When you've got that wedding I guess, and you've got all your old brides or something like that, and you want to send out information about up upcoming things. You go back to your database yeah. and it's all stored and you can just it, be able to do stuff and you can just print out labels and stuff That's for it. things. And so if you did like a wedding fair, which like some shops do, and you collect all the people's names and addresses of all the brides and visitors at your store, you would then go back to your shop and create a database so you've got all your brides' names, their addresses, their postcodes, maybe the date of their wedding. So it's all on like one big table. And then what you might do six months down the line, you might say, I want to see all the I want to send out an invitation to target all the brides getting married in December. So you would just extract that from the database and um, it will tell you all the brides that get married in December. It doesn't have to go through a whole long list. Also contract work, corporate clients, you might put all your businesses, all your contract companies, and if they have like a 30 pound bars or a 20 pound bars, do you list them? And then you might say, I want to see all the companies that have a £30 bar. And it will just pull out all the companies that have £30 bars. Or who has a deliver on a Friday morning. So it's really beneficial once you know how to use it. And that will be very important when we get into this section. Which is why we have some training on it. Access. Okay? But this is just particularly just the table. So think about what the advantages are. Think about the disadvantages. Anyone think of any of them? Disadvantages? The database? Maybe it's the knowledge of actually how to do it, possibly. Also, it needs updating. It needs updating, maybe it's quite time consuming, possibly, to put all the data in to start with. So, you know, that type of thing. But then it might save a lot of time in the long run with your advantages because you can pull off what you need. Um, so, spreadsheets, there's another one here spreadsheets. What's the use for a spreadsheet? We do spreadsheets for making, yeah, cost like count that figures, maybe your take ins in your shop, your forecasts, yeah, so you're tracking, it's more about numbers. Spreadsheets, does anyone use spreadsheets for any other purposes other than sort of like figures and calculating and stuff like that? Mainly that, really. Some people get these two mixed up and they start putting databases on a spreadsheet, and that's not impossible to do. But the purpose of this is really to see the filtering and extracting. So again, you can do that one. What about um, e-commerce? What's e-commerce? Online, yeah, online, online shopping sort of thing. Does anyone actually have relay services like into Flora Teleflores? Possibly Flower Brown, all those sort of ones, yeah. Um, maybe you, your company might have a company where people pay by PayPal, or the online buying. That's what e-commerce is. So it's thinking about how that relates to here. And then email. What the benefits and use for the email. Do you think there's, what do you think some advantages are of emails? Quick. Quick, rather than putting the letter in the post? Possibly. Quick. Actually, the disadvantages are being out, and it's very, very much in the other bus. Some people don't read them. The connection. Don't read them. Don't always check them. Internet connection. Internet connection, yeah, yeah. bang of our life. And it goes down. into like, different parts, like it will go into like, junk instead of it. Sometimes it disappears, don't it? Also, I think you lose that communication skills. We're very bad at not picking ourselves up and going to visit for talking to a person. Someone will just drop an email, and that's when you lose that connection with the person. But it's a quick system if you want to get an answer straight away rather than writing and sending a letter. So it's giving you some examples. You may think of some other 
um, ICT software packages or uses that your business or flourish shop might use. And you can add them. Okay, that's just giving you a few. And that's basically all what the one is. And if you look at the marking criteria here at the top, um, for a pass it says the candidate shows some understanding of the basic uses of ICT. And then in the merit, a clear understanding, and then obviously a distinction, and um, critically evaluate the effectiveness. So you actually, although you're just putting you actually got to evaluate what is the effectiveness of those within your business. And that's how you get the distinction. Okay, or Can you give an example of that, sorry? What exactly that means? Um, critically evaluate. So you could say, um, Evaluate within effectiveness. So, how effective are they within the business? I mean, I could say that that, although I'm not good at using it, once I would do, how effective that is for the business would be brilliant because you, it saves a lot of time. You can obviously target your brides, you can keep track of all your customers. So, you're just developing this. Yours. This is your evaluating, really. Oh, okay. But so it's just gone depth. Yeah, this is your evaluation of advantages and disadvantages. But if you're just going to do a couple of like bits, that's not really critically evaluating. It's just Okay. Anyone got any questions about the one? Quite straightforward, it's not really complicated. It's just thinking of maybe think of a few others if you can. If you can't, then stick to those ones. Maybe think about publisher or a paint shop. Would we use that in a in a business, for our business? Yeah. Anything to take photographs do we do? Photoshop. Photoshop. Publishers good for leaflets. What do people do their business cards? Just business cards. So all them type of things. Branding. You know, anything to do with branding. Think of any programs that you might use or come across that a business might benefit from. So just develop a business. So you have the to go into B2. Okay, there's three parts to this really. Some of it could start, some of it might be wait until we've got the training session. Um, basically, B2 says you are required to demonstrate your ability. You are required to demonstrate your ability, so it's actually your ability now to use the software. To perform simple administrative tasks to benefit the business. So there's three things you've got to do. It says create, create a letter of quotation. So you basically this is to demonstrate your ability to use the So, letter of quotation, what package can you use to create that? Word processing. Word processing, yeah. Word or if you've got something similar. Okay, so you've got that one. Does everybody feel that you could create a letter of quotation on your own? Or would some, anyone need to sit with someone at the computer? Don't worry if you don't want to say in front of everyone. Just let me know because I can arrange some training over the learning centre with anyone that can sit and help you. From what I've seen from most of your assignments, I think all of you can sort of use a computer quite, you know, standard and do a letter. And you've done radio times quotation as well. And you've had templates given to you. So you could do that. The next one, it says, which may be a little bit more of a tricky one, inputting and extracting data. From a simple database. That would ideally we're going to try and use access. What do you think about that one? Do you think you could competently go away and do a database? Do you think that's the one possibly part you might be alright? Possibly. I have spoken to Marlon in the learning centre and he, or possibly 
trainee that was in the gym last year is going to be training with us. Mm -hmm. um, the week of the, um, what, week 27, week of the 28th of April, it's on your schedule. Okay, it's got to come back to me though with the times, but I'm preferably asking a Wednesday, but it can be the Tuesday. And that session will be focusing on this one here. I'm going to map it in the page number two. He's going to show us how to input data into a database and then how to extract data from the database. And what you'll do is take some screenshots of what you've done, print them off, and that goes into your assignment. And then the last bit to this bit, it says a simple spreadsheet to create binaries. Now I know maybe some of you did Word for a spreadsheet, but I'd like you to actually explore Excel for a spreadsheet. Okay. I try. I. I don't think you. It would be good to show your, maybe it's your ability to use them, so try and avoid using Word to create just a standard table and fill it in for a spreadsheet. You need to actually do this bit, it actually says spreadsheet. So we need to be trying to do Excel. Okay? But remember, it's just simple. You don't have to be in depth. There's got to be a buying list. And that's what the three things that you need to do for B2. Now, Going back to what Julia said about using the Raven Times, that's not impossible, you can do that. But I think, who, who is it either going to or consider taking on some weddings, private weddings? Possibly. Has anyone been approached to do any weddings? Private wedding One in September, possibly. Yeah. I think this would be a perfect opportunity for you to use this as a sort of dumb run of a wedding. Yeah. So your letter of quotation will be to your potential bride. Yeah, so your letter of quotation will be to your bride. And say, I'd love to meet you at whatever date. Please find the attached quotation for your things. If your bride's going to pay for the polls. Your buying list could be for your quote, yeah, so once they've obviously got your quotation, you create buying, so how many flowers do you buy? <coughs> how many roses do you need? How many carnations do you need? How many gerbils? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that okay? Now, the, the database, I want you to imagine in your business that you've gone to a wedding fair. And at your wedding fair, you've collected 20, it doesn't have to be loads, okay, 20 cards <coughs> of brides, names and addresses. With their weddings, you can make them up. When we have that training session on that Tuesday or the Wednesday, I need you to have that information to hand. I need you to bring at least 20 names, addresses, and so when you're in the training session, you haven't got to think, oh, okay, what well, should I make that up? You're actually within front of you, and you're just going to put the information in. Yeah, pre do that. Yeah, pre do that. 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 Just what I want you to do is I don't want you to go into the, the learning system and bear in mind an hour and then you'll spend 20 minutes to think of people's names and addresses. Yeah. I literally want you to bring those names and addresses with you so that when you have that hour training session you sit on the computer, you input the data, you extract it and you that job done. Okay, so you have to do it then. So I was saying you can do it before, you're going to do 20 names and addresses. If you, if you can do access, you yeah. can start it on your own. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that no, 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 that's fine. But there's some people that have never explored yeah. access, and yeah. that's what that's that session is for. Julie, if you're very happy with access, but doesn't, you don't even have to attend a training session. No, no, no. You no, can no. opt out if you do that. It's there, though. But yeah, and Harley, if you're competent with access, then you can start this. Yeah, it's fine. You can start it. But really, the training session is for anyone that's completely new to access. <coughs> so it's going to be a basic level of how to put a name in, how to extract it. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so base your theme on a wedding. So let's say your database is a wedding affair. Bring your information with you. You then, once you've been to your wedding fair, you've met the bride, you've sat her in the shop, you've done a lovely quotation for her, she's accepted the order, okay, for what would happen in real life, remember? And then from that, the week before the wedding, you have a great find this to go to all the flowers. There's a theme running through, rather than just randomly doing this. I would, yeah. yes, it says a spreadsheet, so unless you... And when do these, we have to bring the names in for? When you have the training so session, which is that 28th 27, 28 of April. So it will either be the 29th or the um, 30th. But bring you in for mid the 29th. Just yeah. have them. Have them, yeah. Yeah. have them ready for that week. All I don't want you to do is just come with completely blank mind and you spend 20 minutes meeting the people's names and addresses and weddings. Just, just think, of, think of things. What would you need to know at a wedding fair if you filled in a card? Right. right. Their name. Date of wedding. Venue, maybe. Date. If they have a venue. Yeah. Date of wedding. Someone said venue? Yeah. Venue. Email address. Yeah. A phone number. Maybe a contact number. Contact number. What about, yeah, why is venue important? Because I think. We notice that those who've got a venue are more likely to actually be a secure customer. If you've got a wet venue, you're likely that that's going to be the day. Because they're just sort of saying when it is, they're not really sure. They're yeah, they've got a venue sorted. Must be actually the date. So the date of the wedding, even the year. Because some people are now booking like years in advance. Yeah. 2018 and stuff. So what we're doing well, is just making a wedding event. Yeah. You can ask the bride. Yeah. Get so married each year, the year after, and then we'll break up. People that are booking wedding so in advance now, the rush. You know, because you might just want 12th of December, you'd actually want 12th of December 2012, whenever it is. Yeah, that's mental. 2014, because otherwise, if you just extract anyone that's getting married on the 12th of December, you're going to get every year. Whereas actually, you want the year.